Hello, and welcome to this Tectone Sound and Signal training presentation. I am Brian Gershio, Product Support Manager here at Tectone, and in this video we will look at setting up and programming the NC377 voltage interface unit in preparation for using it to integrate an NC110 nurse call system with a TechAlert integration manager. First, we will look at the wiring diagram for the NC110 to review the system operation. Understand that each room on the NC110 utilizes a select line designated by L on the drawings. The select line is normally high and is pulled low by call activity. It will be a steady low for low priority calls, indicated by R, and pulsing low for high priority calls, indicated by Q. You will tap into these select lines so that they can be monitored by the NC377. Each of these lines will terminate on an individual point and you will program the 377 to see that point as a unique zone or room. So when a low priority call is initiated, the NC377 sees the voltage on its corresponding point go low and when a high priority call is initiated, the voltage pulses. In this reduced scale demonstration, we will be using four points. Once the NC110 is installed and tested and all select lines are terminated on the NC377, you are ready to program it for TechAlert integration. Use the included crossover cable to connect the NC377 to the TechCare network port on the rear of the TechBridge. Open a browser window on the TechBridge and type in the default IP address of the NC377. In this case, it is 192.168.1.239. This will bring up the home screen. Click on the configuration settings and log in with the default username and password. The username is C-O-M-P-P-A-G-E and the password is PIA3264. First you will program the global settings. This is simply a matter of selecting Tectone as the host system and then entering 0013200 as pager ID 1. Additionally, you must ensure that the total number of contacts is set to allow for the required number of points or zones. Then click on the Save Database button. Now select Contact Settings. Here you will associate point numbers and set appropriate messages. In this example, we will create messages that will work with the provided rule set in the TechAlert configuration. Be aware that the characters in these messages are case sensitive. Starting with point 1, or zone 1 as the software refers to it, set the room number to 1. Since select lines on the NC110 are active low, set input alert type to voltage alert low. The active message should be R1, reset message should be X1, and pulse 1 message should be Q1. Remember to check the slow pulsing box and then save zone. In order to use Zone 1 as a template for the remaining zones, in the Save to Zone section, change the 2 box to reflect the number of points to be programmed. Click Save to Zone and the window will display the last zone entered. In this case, it is Zone 4. Now all that's left to do is to modify each zone accordingly. Change the room number to match the zone number and change the messages to match the zone number as well. So in this case, R1 becomes R4 X1 becomes X4 and Q1 becomes Q4. Then save the zone and click on the previous button to edit the remaining zones in the same manner. Scroll back through using the previous and next buttons to ensure all programming has been entered and saved correctly and then return to global settings and save database. Programming is now complete. You can close the browser and disconnect the programming cable. In part two of this series, we will cover serial connection of the NC377 to the tech bridge. And then in part three, we will create the software integration. Thank you for your time. I hope you have found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please address them to tech support at tektsupt at tectone.net.